Hello to everyone, in that video I would like to show how to create a smooth camera attachment to the animated object. So in that scene I have the the cone which is moving into, let me show the trajectory, so here is the trajectory. The cone is simply moving around and uh, so I'm going to attach a camera and follow uh, this element. Um, and I, in that video I will show how to make a smooth motion, smooth attachment. First of all let's create a new camera and simply what we can do when we switch to that camera uh, we can put the camera behind and then go to all camera elements, interest point and camera point and then I press P to enter the parenting mode and parent to cone. So now when we parent to cone, we have a strong attachment uh, to our moved element. But with the relation constraint and um, my node spring box, we probably can do, let's go to relation constraint, this one, spring element. And let me show how to make a smooth attachment. First of all, uh, we need to create a null object which will move strongly uh, connected to the cone element. I will create a new null object on top of a camera. When, when I'm creating on top, that means that this null object, if I go to perspective view, that this null object will be created in the same position as the camera. So now, in relation constraint, I will use this null object as a source so I drag and drop into my relation constraint and the camera I need to unparent it and the camera will be a destination. So now I'm connecting the translation to my pose and result to translation. So let's see what we have in that case. Uh, the camera is, is not moving because null object should be connected to cone, so it will be the source. So now when I stop I have kind of spring effect. To make it, uh, to avoid the spring effect, just to keep on the smoothing in position, uh, we can make the mass much bigger. I will take, uh, put a value like 30. So sometimes it's break the simulation, but if you go to um, non-real-time mode and move to zero, it will reset it. Okay, so we still have this kind of spring effect. And um, the stiff value I will put like one, or maybe it can be even two. Um, and what else? The lens will be one and the friction. I will assign a friction like 0.5. So now if we um, if we go to our camera we can probably apply as well the real-time mode and if we see from the camera view we see that the object is rotating and then the camera is reaching that point And then returning back. So it has kind of spring but without the uh, too much uh, too much stiffness effect because the mass is mass is higher and that's why the the energy of the spring is enough only to return the element to to needed position. And the position where a camera is following is our null object which is uh, parenting to cone so the null object is moving with the cone and the camera camera is trying to reach so the the main difference of that uh, movement instead of damping simple damping is that um, it's still um, in that case we calculate in the spring so we have kind of energy if the movement is fast it gives more uh, influence and it will try to reach point faster mm, and depends on the mass you can control 
you can control the probably the screen effect as well so here we have kind of not only not only reaching the point but it's kind of uh, movement when just small spring effect forward and backward so we can even keep that and uh, okay when the movement is ready and we have this uh, smooth attachment we can select our uh, camera object in the scene then uh, plot animation that's that should be not in real time mode I think yeah so let me plot one more time right so now let's deactivate the constraint and see if we have this effect yeah probably we have this effect and there is some kind of if we see the trajectory this kind of steps we have in our trajectory so to finalize our motion we need to go to filters both wars and apply a filter maybe with um, cutoff frequency like five for example okay so now the the movement will be much smoother and uh, sure we can play with these parameters and um, try to reach the better result but it's a very fast way to to have the smooth attachment of element like camera for example okay thank you for watching see you next videos bye